So number nine then from paper two of the 2015 new hire, the last question, the wave function. Now, St. Mark's, no one would expect that to be in two parts. The first part would say, express this as a single term, and then the second part would be, do some operation on that, which means you do the operation on the single term instead. But here it's just the one big block all the way through. Anyway, so you have to express it in this form. So what's that going to be? I'll have to expand this sign. So that'll be the sign of a difference. So it'll be sine 1.5t. Notice there's no degree signs. This is all in radians. You can see that here. Cos A minus cos 1.5t sine A. I'll just rearrange that. You don't need to I know. I think I'll just rearrange that so I can see quite clearly the coefficient and the term of the term. So that's actually k cos A multiplying the sine 1.5t and minus k sin A, multiplying the cos 1.5t. So however you wrote this one out, with or, with or without the brackets, that's the first mark, just for expanding it. But that makes it quite clear how they'd be compared, because for the sin 1.5t, then the k cos A must be 36. So I'll put that down. k cos A equals 36. And for the cos 1.5t, I've got a negative 15, and this has got a negative k sin a. So you could say negative k sin a is negative 15, and then change the signs over, or just put it down straight away. What's been subtracted, what's been subtracted. Now, both of these have to be stated. That's the second mark. I'm just going to, there's, there's no reasons required here. It's just what's the answer for k and what's the answer for a for a mark each. But I'll give reasons. How am I going to get k? Because I've got a pair of simultaneous equations. If you square the equations and add them, that means you'd end up with k squared equals 15 squared plus 36 squared. Or you might notice you've got three fives, you've got three twelves, so the answer must be 3 thirteens. So I'll just go straight in with. That equals then 3 thirteens, 39, because that was like 3 times a 5, 12, 13 triangle. Otherwise, you just have typed that into your calculator anyway, just putting the square root down first. Square root of 15 squared plus 36 squared. Then, if you divide these, 1 divided by 2, then the k's will cancel and you'll have sine over cos, which makes tan A equals, and that's why I put them in that order, 15 over 36. So A will be the inverse tan of 15 over 36. Now it said here, A is an acute angle. You can check it if you like. The sine's positive, so it's in the first or second quadrant. The cosine's positive, so it's in the first or fourth quadrant. And they're both positive only in the first quadrant, so it should be an acute angle. So I'm just looking for the first answer that comes out of this. Now, it is radians. So just set your calculators to radians. Shift Setup, pick 4, or whatever it happens to be, and it's in radians. Now it's safe to go. Shift Tan of 15 over 36 gives you 0 0.39479 blah blah blah. And the usual thing with radians is to take it to 3 decimal places. That gives it the same sort of accuracy because a radian's a big chunk, it's almost 60 degrees, as having angles in degrees to just one decimal place. So there we are. That's a mark. So now we can see that it was equal to 39 sine 1.5t minus 0 0.395 for the first part. Or I could just put it back into this, put it back into the one for H with the 65 at the end instead. That would do. Now what's the second part? The second part is, hence find the two values of T when the tip of the blade is at a height of 100. Well that means if H is 100, then this thing, oh, I'll have to write it all out, should equal 100. Now, knowing that that should come to 100 is worth a mark. 
No, it's just a case of solving it. There's only one mention of t, so that's quite simply solved by removing all the bits and pieces. Get rid of the 65, get rid of the 39, get rid of the sine, get rid of the 0.395, and then finally get rid of the 1.5, appropriately. So, starting it off, sine 1.5t minus 0.395 should equal, take 65 away, and that will be 35, take the 39 across and divide, 35 upon 39. Now, the next mark actually comes here, starting to solve it. There's only two marks left now. So the next part would be, get rid of the sign, 1.5t minus 0.395 is going to be the inverse sign of 35 upon 39, a positive amount. So I know that the two answers here will be the first quadrant and second quadrant ones. But now I've got a problem about accuracy. That had to be rounded off, I presume, because it had to be expressed as a final answer. Normally, during a calculation, you try and keep as many decimal places as possible. Certainly one more than you want to round it off to. So that's lost a little bit. But there's leeway in the marking for various roundings, as long as the rounding isn't too severe. So what have we got for this? Well, again, the calculator is already in radians, so that'll be 1.1. I'll not round it off to 4, I'll try and keep a bit more here. 139, rounded off. Or the other one would be this one here, which is 180 minus it, but this is radians, which is pi minus it. So if I do subtract pi, and then forget the negative, I've got 2.0276, rounded it off to 77. Not too happy with having lost that one, though. So the next part is going to be 1.5t equals, and add that onto them both. Looking back at the working, I could always take that original one because originally I had that down as 0 0.39479 and so on. So I'm going to add on to this. I think I'll take the four figures. 3948, just trying to keep a bit more accuracy for rounding it off afterwards. So adding 0.3948 onto each of those gives 1.5087 or 2. 0.4225. Now the next mark comes there for getting down to this, and then the final mark will be for dividing by 1.5. So that would give you 1.0058 or 1.6150. Now I'll take it back to my three decimal places. So the final answer is t equals 1.006 and that was seconds, or t equal, no, it's and because it's the two times, and t equals 1.615 seconds. But again, the marking scheme allows for various degrees of rounding, right down to just 1.0 and 1.6, which seem reasonable for seconds, actually. Now, this was all done in radians, because the question was in radians, and the marking scheme's got a note that says... Candidates who work consistently in degrees cannot gain the final mark. But what that means is, consistently in degrees means you take it degrees all the way to the end. So your final number is different from this. It would be the equivalent of that in degrees. If you did do it in degrees all the way down and then change your answer to radians at the end, you would gain all the marks. If you did do it in degrees, then you'd have had this. When you were finding that first angle, it wouldn't have been 0.395 radians. You'd have got 22.6 degrees. And solving this wouldn't have given them. It would have given you in degrees, you'd have had oops, 63.8 degrees and 116.2 degrees. Again, the degree signs wouldn't be there if you were just dealing with the letter. That's just to emphasise these are degrees. And then adding on that 22 would have given you 86.4 degrees and 138.8 degrees. And then dividing by the 1.5 would have given you 57.6 degrees and 92.5 degrees, which would all be marked correct, except you couldn't leave that as your final answer, then you wouldn't get the final mark if you said 57.6 seconds and 92.5 seconds. You'd then have to change them into radians 
by dividing by 180, knocks out the degrees, and multiplying by pi. You'd have had to convert them back to radians. And if you did that with this one, you'd get 1.0053 and so on. And if you did it with this one, you'd get 1.6144 and so on. But the marking scheme says, accept any solution that rounds off to 1.0 or 1.6. Final mark.